He may be alone in this small apartment, but Louis Ng is talking to thousands of viewers online. They're mostly teenagers like, like my age. You know, they, they're interested in other people's life in Hong Kong. The popularity of video blogs has brought fame to some of Hong Kong's creative youth. Louis Ng's YouTube channel has had more than 27 million views and he's amassed 215,000 subscribers, engaging the city's Cantonese-speaking population. Surely, internet is a good way, good method to share, to push this language over. But not everyone's convinced it's enough to preserve Hong Kong's native tongue. The Education Bureau has ruled that Cantonese is not the official language, and Mandarin, or Putinhua, as it's also known, should be the language of choice. What's happening is that uh, Cantonese is uh, gradually being replaced as the medium of instruction in the schools with Putinhua. And the Education Bureau here is giving lots of resources to the schools to uh, implement Putinhua as MOI. Professor Robert Bauer is concerned policies like this could lead to the extinction of Hong Kong's local dialect. He's compiling a Hong Kong Cantonese English dictionary to record and preserve what he believes is a significant part of the city's culture. Some people ask me if I'm worried about the future of Cantonese. Yes, uh, down the road probably has a problem. Professor Bao's concerns are shared by a growing number of Hong Kong residents who fear China's increasing influence is encroaching on the city's identity. About 70% of Hong Kong's primary schools and nearly half of the secondaries now use Mandarin as the main language in class. It's with that in mind that some academics believe the key to preserving Cantonese is through popular local TV and film. <laughs> Hong Kong's films have been the world's most important platform for Cantonese, so I think we can put more resources into it because we have the cultural history that we need to pass along. Without Cantonese on the curriculum in schools, Grace Max says other channels must be found and strengthened to keep Hong Kong's next generation with a native voice. Sarah Clark, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.